was that? 23 seconds. 23 seconds. Okay, uh, Tony Verico here, White Diamond Estes today. And we're talking about maintenance brushing, uh, maybe two or three times a week. A lot of people, when they call for a pup, one of the questions that they ask, well, I don't want to spend every moment of the day brushing the dog. And as you could just see, that took 23 seconds for a maintenance brush. And if you keep up with them, there's really not that much hair that you'll get on the brush. Um, the two brushes that I'm using is a slicker brush from Artero and a um, pin brush. So what we usually do is I'll put on a little bit of a grooming spray. I think we're using Magic Touch by Royal Crown. It's a concentrate. Important thing to do is to cover their eyes while you're doing this. And you don't need much. And then I will take the slicker brush and I'll pull the upper coat back and get to his undercoat because that's where most of the matting will occur and you want to keep that so it's functional. Uh, they're a double coated dog breed and you want to push the upper coat back and get to that lower coat. I don't know if you can see that. You can keep moving around. And Davey likes to sit. So you can put a roll of toilet paper or a soup can, something under him, and that usually, but he's, he, he's usually smart enough to step to the side and sit down, because you like to sit, don't you, don't you? And if you do this two or three times a week, uh, not only will uh, you see less hair in the house, uh, Davey blows coat maybe once a year, He's been pretty good about that. Uh, he, he's our foundation male here, White Diamond Eskies. He's bred by Winter's son, which is Lenise Redding and Tammy Powers. They've been breeding for about 40 years or so. Uh, so I really can't take any credit for this guy. But uh, he had a date with uh, our Belle on Valentine's Day. So we're hoping for some Davy puppies. Uh, one of the most important things with these guys when you're brushing them with the slicker brush is don't go down to the skin. I mean, if you, if you take the brush and rub it across your own skin a couple of times, you'll see what I mean. And that, that could actually, if you, it could cause little abrasions that could cause a dermatitis. So you really don't want to dig down on the dog. You don't want to go down to the skin. You kind of like just want to find that just where you touch it and then pull down and away. Like I said, you know, it's, it doesn't take long. I'm going over him a couple of times just so you guys get a sense of what it's about. But, I mean, to do a, he's a mini, so I imagine a standard will take twice the time. Um, and uh, I'll, leave, um, I'll leave some links of uh, the equipment that we're using. Uh, if you do come, he doesn't have any mats on him, so I really can't show you. Uh, but they have matting brushes to take it out. You would... You know, you would grab the mat and then pull at the end, and if it's not that tight, it should come apart. If it doesn't, it's a real big one. You take a pair of scissors and go in, in this direction, break it up into smaller ones, and they should be easier to pull out. You don't really want to cut across underneath the mat. I mean, sometimes you can't, especially if the dog has been really neglected or it's a rescue and they have to basically shave the dog. You don't want to get that straight line, as you can see his... His outer coat is, uh, you know, it's it's got a nice uneven look to it, and that's the way it's supposed to look. I mean, you don't want to all of a sudden see a straight line going across the coat. And like I said, they're a dual-coated dog, so you you really should leave that undercoat alone. Alone. I mean, it sounds sounds kind of funny to people that it keeps them cool in the summertime, but it's actually that outer coat that does all the work. Uh, this outer coat, I mean, especially if they've been out for the sun for a while and you go to pick them up, you'll actually feel the outer coat 
warm to hot. And then if you reach in and feel the inner coat, you'll feel body temperature. So that's how it keeps them cool in the uh, summertime and the reverse effect in there. So shaving that coat underneath really causes a, a lot of stress for the animal because when, once they're hardwired, they're used to feeling this way. So, I mean, if you go out in the backyard naked in the wintertime, you know why you're feeling that sensation. The poor dog won't. I mean, he'll be feeling a sensation around his body that he's never felt before, and he may take that as something being wrong with him. And I've seen a lot of them stress out or they just lay down and shake. So you really want, you, unless you, I mean, I know there's surgeries and other things, but you really want to leave that undercoat alone. So I'll put the uh, equipment down in there and it's a, just a, you know, you can get the grooming sprays anywhere. I use a concentrate because uh, you fill it mostly with water and you just add a little bit of the concentrate and it'll last you 50 years. Um, did you like that? Yeah. So hopefully we'll have an announcement of whether Davey's going to be a daddy or not pretty soon. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and we'll try to get to them. And if I don't know the answer, I could reach out to my mentors and hopefully we can get the answer back to you. And that goes really for any any coat that has, any, any breed that has a double coat. I mean, I'm assuming, I mean, I know the Eskies, but I would assume that it's pr pr probably pretty similar. Okay, thanks so much. Say bye, Davey.